Okay. So, we've uh, got the shaft, the prop shaft, back to being horizontal. Um, we've got a nice big gap in the floor now, which I don't know if I had before. <coughs> so, we're ready, basically, to put that, I don't know what I'm playing, so don't ask, to put this in. And what we're going to do, basically, is we've got the same thing going on here, right, plates, okay, with the holes, because that gives us the suspension bit, okay. So we're going to have one for the back, two down there with the holes in, and then one for the front. And I was thinking about the actual amount of, you know, weight and torque on these nuts, but if you look, the original ones, there's a hole there and a hole there and another hole there. Those three mounts were the ones that took the motor's weight and torque, right. The cross-sectional area of that plus that, plus whatever bolt was in there, which wasn't the size of the hole, sorry, the size of the hole, and even if it was, you took them out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Now, okay, probably originally there might have been a bit more metal, <coughs> right? But I don't think there's anything to worry about, to be frank. So I'm gonna go ahead as if I'm not worried. <laughs> right, so what we gotta do now is we gotta fasten this, Okay, whole assembly into the van, right? And we have to allow for just a small amount, right, of um, longitudinal travel. Just a small amount. I mean, it's only going to be, you know, a few millimeters, but we have to allow for it because the bearings in that motor, right, <coughs> are solid. There is no play whatsoever. So it's not like there's a little bit of end flow on the shaft, there isn't any. <laughs> so any pressure at all on that will be transmitted through the bearings of the motor and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to allow a little bit of height instead of actually fastening them directly to the bar and having the bar in contact with the, with the, uh, with the metal so there's no travel, we're actually going to leave a little bit of height so that it's kind of suspended, you know just a small amount just so that it allows about a millimeter of lateral travel you see because uh, obviously the weight of the motor it's not going to jump up or anything but uh, if we allow for that then that means that it'll it'll move slightly I mean we're not we're, we're talking about a, you know maybe five millimeters at the absolute maximum I can't see it being much more than that which means the plate will flex slightly you see and given the amount of time that this is going to be in here we're never going to get after worry about challenges like metal fatigue and stuff like that because if it comes to something that needs to be a bit more substantial then I'll have to think of something else. The original shaft had um, that was a spine shaft which just slotted into the gearbox loosely so there's nothing fastening it so it could actually move you see and that's why I have to be concerned with that you see. Sure it's still turned. <laughs> right. So we need to basically find out the measurements so we know where it's going to be suspended, whereabouts in here, and then the depth. And then we can start constructing it. And it'll be cool. It will be. Trust me. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, that's already cool. I mean, look at that. Rack that whole floor out. No engine. There's just nothing there at all, is there? I mean, it's just a box on wheels right now. There's a radiator in the front which I'm going to remove because there's no point having it now. <laughs> it may be useful for a uh, higher power motor, because that might need liquid cooling, but right now it's useless. We've still got all the brakes attached and everything. Um, the, there was a bit of an issue with... Uh, this, is the, <laughs> this is the handbrake coupling, which is loose, because it was actually fastened on the underside of the shaft that went across there. And so I had to cut it off. But that assembly then makes sure that the brakes are, operate, are operative. That's the reason why I got that little that yellow, just to keep the uh, <coughs> just keep the handbrake cable out of the way, whilst I uh, sort out what motors, how the motor's going to fit. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to crack on with that now. 